Hello, hello, it's Akuma Podcast. Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome to the Akuma Podcast. It's Nico here. Today, I've got a fantastic topic I want to talk about to people. I want to talk about friendships. I want to talk about loneliness. You know, I was thinking today, I was like, how many people did they text me this week to say, Nico, how are you doing? And how many people did I text and say, how are you doing? For me, I want to be honest with you, maybe it's about five. Some of them I still use that old traditional when the technology came to wish people birthdays on Facebook and stuff. I like that sometimes because this is where you see other people celebrating their um, birthdays and as well, whatever they do. Nowadays, we can't hide much. We've always been seen on the social media and stuff like that. So I was thinking like, um, why, why people now, they're not, they don't talk anymore. Like, uh, I mean, like, I'm not not because I want them to talk to me, but I'm just saying in general, even our relatives, our families, it's very, very rare to get a text message asking you how you're doing than telling you about the problems. Um, I find it very, very sad because I want to hear something from my friends or family, but not related problems. You know what I mean? You know, so yeah, I think that's what I'm going to be looking at. But uh, maybe I'll be looking at myself, how... How how do I, how do I survive this kind of um, yeah living by myself so long and as well how do I cope the outside world? I come from a long way. I used to be really bad when it comes to um to to be myself. Like uh, as soon as I feel like a little bit lonely, I'll be like, oh, I'm going to the pub. I'm going to watch football. I'm going to meet some people, stuff like that. And it's not it's not really helping. It's not it's not it's not helping because um. Where you're going is actually going to multiply more loneliness. Because sometimes um, you go to two places, you think, oh, yeah, there's people here now. Maybe I'm going to feel like, yeah, certain people. But believe me, you're still alone because they, they don't they don't have time for you. They don't know you. Or even they know you, they, they still. Um, I always tell people that like, sometimes people say, oh, I'm going to meet my friends in the pub. Or I'm going to meet my friends in this place. Uh, we're going to watch football or that. That's not true. That's, those are not your friends. Those are people you know. A friend is someone who check on you. Not every day, but, you know what I mean? Like at least twice a week, you know what I mean? How you doing, mate? You're right? So that's things like that. But nowadays it doesn't happen anymore because it's not big. I don't know. Uh, in my own opinion, like, uh, I think people, maybe they're more comfortable to hide uh, to whatever they're going through and use social media to protect their really, really feelings. You know what I mean? Or show their own feelings, true feelings, true colors. I don't know. But uh, let's look at Nico. Uh, that's me. Uh, let's talk about me. It's like, oh, I don't know. Uh, I come from a long way, as I said earlier on. Like, I used to drink a lot. I used to go out a lot. I used to be rubbish. When I mean rubbish, I mean like rubbish, rubbish, rubbish. You know, um, horrible. But the good news, I'm not violent. I never fight anyone. I never do anything bad to people. Just me being embarrassing myself. And, you know what I mean? I took that as a lesson because I think a child has to fall many times before he's taking steps and, you know, walk and crawl, all that stuff. So I think it's okay. Instead of uh, me beating myself about many years ago or whatever, I think I take that as a lesson. I take that as a step because we all have to stumble sometime in life. But once you get up there, then you see, wow, I think I'm fit enough to change that, uh, to stop embarrassing myself. It's a pain as well, because the change comes with pain. You start to isolate yourself. Like, I'm happy because I've got, uh, you can see I'm on the recording studio, the podcast. That was a good idea actually to come up with this because it helped me a lot to not to feel alone and as well give me freedom to, of speech and uh, creative as well. Like and now I'm talking on the podcast, people are listening. And it, yeah, it, it took me out of that embarrassment where I used to embarrass myself a lot, like going out and it was bad, man. It's still a bit, I don't want to lie to you, but I'm, like now maybe I just go like once a week, you can see me very quickly. And because during my embarrassment times, I made sure that I was banned in a lot of places so I don't have to go back again. And no, it wasn't a plan, but... but it looks like that now if you look at it, but it wasn't planned like that. But um, I'm glad now when I look back, there's some places that I don't even try to get in because I'm, I've been banned. Not because it's violent, it's just dancing stupid, saying things. People get people sensitive nowadays. 
uh, you say something and someone go and tell the doorman, uh, uh, Nico just said this to me, I don't like it. I think he's a bad person, he should be banned in this place. Or some people lie about me, they make up stories. There's so many things happen to us uh, during that time. Like, oh, yeah, I know the places. And sometimes racism as well. We need to talk about this because racism is also part of our of nightlife as well. There's some security domains and management and stuff that they use that as their power as well, especially when you're drunk because you're not really on your senses. You're always going to blame yourself. Yeah, I was drunk to me. No, it's not true. Sometimes people take advantage of when you're going, uh, when you're going through some things in life. Yeah. So I don't know. Um, I don't want to talk much about that because sometimes I have to bring all the evidence, all that stuff. I don't have. I don't think we, we, when it comes to racism, do you think we really have to always wearing cameras? No, I don't have to. If someone's been bad, it's been bad. You know what I mean? Like we, we don't have to prove it. It's dead because, it, you know what I mean? It hurts me. But they are wearing cameras to prove themselves, but we, we, we don't have to. Because they're not wearing uh, cameras to do racism. They're wearing cameras for people attacking them. But then when they're doing racism to you, they'll switch off that thing off. So it, there's no evidence you can't you can prove. So I'm, maybe I'm jumping to the topic too far now. <laughs> Let's go back uh, when I was talking about um, self-embarrassment and recovery. It's a very important thing. I'm sure there's so many people still going through what I went through. It's, it's, it's not only me who, who went those, uh, those drinking embarrassment times and all that stuff. It's still going, it's a, it, we are human. I mean to say, we are human. And uh, we can always have a story to tell, especially in life. But now I'm doing well. Actually, you can see I'm looking healthy and I'm getting there. I'm not there yet. But, I'm working on it to get myself there. So, yeah, let's talk about uh, friendships. Friendships, um, for me, I've got good friends, but they're not more than five. I want to be honest with you, they're not. They're just like very, 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 very good friends, but they're small. I'm not going to name them because they're going to start feeling jealous of each other. But I've got very good friends. And then I've got good, good people that I know that when I need help, I can go there. I know I can explain myself. Then I've got people, I call them friends, but they're just people. You know what I mean? You just say friends when you bump each other. For example, in the bar or something. Oh, yeah, I know that guy. Yeah, yeah, he's my friend. But it's not really not, not a friend. It's not. So I need I need people to start thinking about what do you mean friends, friendship? Because friendship is a strong word as well. Like, I mean, something powerful that I say family, you know, because you've got a friend for over like five, ten years. That's a family member to me. I, I do have those of friends. I call, yeah, as I said, five or five max five years so um yeah for me it's always been a respecting your friends as well and then most of my friends are married i'm not they've got kids and then they're living their own lives so i have this respect for that i know when to talk to them and how and why you know i'm no longer like making stupid jokes uh you know what i mean because it, these people moved on from that that um that young life whatever they, they, they have they bring up young young ones as well. So you learn your language and stuff like that. But during my days, when I was like really uh, having drink too much, I didn't, my, I was not paying attention what I'm saying to people. And it's not because I didn't have a respect. It's just my brain was not functioning like now. You know, now I can tell uh, the differences between Nico today and Nico years ago. Those are two different people. So, so yeah, friendship is means a lot, man. Like for me, I think I will say thank you to all my friends. If they can feel it, that I mean to them. All they help, uh, they help me through during my hard days, man. Um, Bruno's asylum, applications, and yeah. There's a lot of people been there for me and until today. And I thank them too much. Thank you so much for that. Then when it comes to loneliness, loneliness for me, I think, Sometimes I like it to be myself. I like to be there. Yeah. They call it um, nowadays when they want to break up with you, they'll say, I need my own space. <laughs> I like that word. I need my own space. Really? Just say I don't, I don't want to like you anymore. But anyway, I'm jumping to conclusion here. Because English is very, very confusing. I need my own space. I like my own space. <laughs> ah, okay. But me, um, sometimes I'm going to use different words. I think I like to be myself sometimes to process my my head and I like quiet 
let's go to the forest walk around and see things so loneliness sometimes is good sometimes it's bad but for me i think i don't know why people don't talk much anymore like back in the day i think because everybody is hiding their feelings and somehow like there's nothing more to talk about because people wake up in the morning they already read something about me maybe on the social media or i put it myself you know what i mean sometimes we put ourselves on fire and then or sometimes we actually block other people not to talk to us because of the things we put out of them um i don't know it's um yeah i think that the longest part is that uh, again for me this is my i'm not an expert but i'm thinking maybe COVID during the lockdown people they managed to actually learn how to live by themselves you know it was a very very bad process and again to avoid to be sick you have to stay indoors and that that part of break sorry of COVID during the lockdown it did change people's lives bad good or bad I think it's one of those I think it created people to accept loneliness but while they're suffering inside so I might be wrong, but I'm just talking about myself. I feel that sometimes, like, you know, during the lockdown, I was, me, I'm different. I was creative. I was running comment online. I was busy. I was keeping myself busy. So I didn't actually suffer more loneliness than maybe other people because you need to find things to do, you know, in the house. Or be creative, I think. Some, some of us survive that way. But what about those who can't do that? How do they survive? Some people follow drinking more stuff or some people created more kids there's lots of stuff happened uh, you know and once the COVID finished people stayed same but there's one thing i want to i'm proud of um that i learned and i enjoy until today i learned during the COVID is taking a walk taking a walk by yourself on the forest or whatever it is those days was like wow this is made my day but do you remember back in the day like walking was like hmm now nah, i can't walk from here to six and i'll call a taxi i can't walk to this place i'm taking a bus i can't walk to this place i'm taking a train nowadays i'm just like mm, check the weather it's good i'm taking a walk you know what i mean so cycling as well so yeah i don't know I, I was thinking this morning as i said earlier on that why are people not talking why why it's no longer like before how many people check on me this week i find out really to be honest with you i think there was zero this week for me if i'm honest with you i'm not i'm not looking people to check on me but i'm just thinking like even my landlord uh, he never check on me i have to go and find them say how are you doing you know like if anything happens to me in the house because i live myself how long is going to take my landlord to find out three months or maybe when the rent is not coming out something like that i'm not saying you should check on me but i'm, I'm trying to find a way what people think you can tell me what you think about What's the what's the best way for people to communicate? What's the best way to uh to actually look at the loneliness and, and the friendships and what what is the best for society to be actually to come and to you know to mingle to have that old old uh, days when people can actually go and sit somewhere in the cafe? I'm sure people still do it, but because there's a nowadays we're all actually measured about groups as well. You know, there's a different groups of people nowadays. So if you're not part of that group, you're not fitting in, you're alone. So you don't go to those coffee shops. Uh, you don't do that. For me, I'm happy to stay home nowadays because I'm trying to avoid pubs as much as I can. Because I'm not yet super there where I can actually control my habits. So I'm still federal. I can actually fall back to that craziness again. But that's why I avoid six center. Not because I don't want to go there, but I just know that. I'm not fit enough to actually avoid it. It happens sometimes. Um, and I'm I'm sure there's a lot of people out there who try their best as well. Just keep doing it, man. If you can make it to six days without alcohol, like me today, seven tomorrow, then eight on Tuesday, because last drink I had was on Tuesday last week. That made me feel great. But I'm still jealous about other people. So, oh, four years, no drinking. I've been 20 years, no drinking. Like, Please don't tell me that. They're not helping me. Or something about 20 years from now and i've only been a week that that's a long long way you know i mean i'm like ah can i do this <laughs> you know 
So what I'm trying to say, if you never drink for 20 years, please just say you don't drink alcohol. Don't give us numbers. Don't tell us why. Just say I don't drink alcohol. That's it. Because if I said I've been one week or two months, you are telling me about 30 years. You are telling me about five years. You are talking about four years. You are actually putting me off because I'm thinking, how the hell did I get this? So when people still steal you and trying to stop bad habits, don't. Those who passed that stage, who are no longer part of the bad habits, please don't talk about them. Don't don't give people five years, ten years. Just, just don't. Just say I don't do that. I think that makes sense. Um, that encouraged me to to go silent. You know, so I know people. Some people argue with me. Oh, Nick, I saw you drunk uh, two weeks ago. Uh, I see you out uh, three weeks ago. Of course you did, but you didn't see me yesterday. You didn't see me day before. You didn't see me day before. You didn't see that before. You didn't see me today. So you don't know. You're not going to see me tomorrow. So stop worried about it. You might. You see these people, they used to say, Oh, Nick, I saw you drunk last night. You are so drunk, your man. I was, What are you doing as well? You are there. You are in the same, same place. But why my name is coming first? Why don't you mind your own business? You know, check yourself out. Because the same routine, the same people who are in the same place with me, those are people complaining. Not complaining, but talking about me being worse than them I like maybe I saw you as well but I never I don't it doesn't bother me because I thought it was normal you know so yeah I, I don't know why I came to talk about this because it's it's really it does bother me that the change is painful and secondly there's no friendships more you no know, nowadays no people don't talk about things anymore you know what I mean and uh, people better keep themselves they come become lonely loneliness Okay, my advice on my own experience, I think don't fight habits by hiding. You know what I mean? By hiding yourself, all the stuff like that. Like, yeah, it's very hard actually for me like now like, if I go to the pub or myself and have one drink. No, there's no way that's going to happen. I'd rather just say non alcohol drink I'll do. But as I said, I'm still new on this process, so I won't take no chances. But yeah, now you know, you know, that. If we don't talk about things that would that bothers from the past, you know what I mean? I'm not ashamed about being out being in that situation before. There's a reason why I was going through that. They don't know my life, like what I was going through. And I didn't have enough to support myself to get out of that. But it was like maybe that that time the, the only way I knew was to being around it by people who don't even give a damn about you drinking, you know. Until you find yourself like, okay, inshallah, I can do this by myself. I don't need to be uh, surrounded with people who don't really like me. I don't know if that makes sense. And um, yeah, I think that's the part of this episode today. I came to talk about uh, friendships and loneliness. But I, I don't know if I get to the punchline. The punchline is both of these, they're all the same. There's people who call them friends, but they're not really friends. They're just people we know. Then the people call friends who are really friends, who are really like part of family. Then there's a loneliness of yourself, getting yourself better. And there's a loneliness that you have actually lost. So you need to balance between those two. In my own opinion, I'm not an expert. It works very well to know that today I'm going, for example, I'm going to work for maybe two hours. Those are work colleagues. They're not my friends. I don't go to work to make friends. I'm going to work to make money, you know, but I still have respect for these people I'm working with as friends, as their brothers and sisters. You know what I mean? So if you find me not talking to you at work, I have nothing against you just because I came for my business. And then when I finish, I go home. I mean, my business. So there's nothing, there's nothing's offense. You know what I mean? If you try to be everyone's person in this planet, my friend, you're going to carry everybody's problems. And nowadays we are living in emotional disaster. People, they look so, so federal, you know, and they're so you know, very weak. You can't say much stuff again and again. So I think that's another thing. That's why people don't talk much, because they, they have to think what to say. Who are to saying this to? What's going to have damage going to do to this person? And stuff like that. It's to, yeah, I can put people there to talk. I understand now. But please, if you have family members, friends, you know what I mean? Who can always say hello especially on the Sunday and or end of the week and check people how they're doing. But back home, I want to be honest with you, sometimes uh, as well from Africa, just to text, say, hello, you do, how are you guys doing? There's replies about money. 
Oh, we need money for this this week. We need money for that. We need. They don't even ask about how are you doing, how's your kids, how's life. It's always about problems, 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 problems. Stop doing that because it does put people off to actually have relationships as families. Because every time I'm calling home, I'm thinking, what problem I'm going to hear about today? How much they want today? It's like I'm sitting on top of billions and billions. I'm working hard. Sometimes I don't even finish paying all my bills. But all I want is to hear that people care about me back home. They also want me to have a, a check about my life. I'm still alive or not. Not always about money, no problems. It's never been anything positive. And that is breaking families apart. Because, yeah, I'm not saying I'm going to stop calling my mother and pray, but it's just dragging you, man. When you get that phone, oh, can I do this now? Mm, it's going to be a problem. What is the problem now? You know what I mean? So, uh, I'm, uh, no offense, I'm not, I'm, I didn't come here to point fingers to people. I'm just like, let's learn how to balance relationships and friendships uh, as family members and friends as well. Instead, we're, all, we're only talking about problems instead of celebrating life as well. Like, oh, I'm alive today. I'm healthy. I'm happy with that. So that's what I'm trying to say on this episode today. So thank you so much for listening. And you can follow me on Spotify, on Apple, Google. You can Google Sekimo Talk Podcast. It will come out on the, all the networks. If you've got any co uh, comments, please leave it on the bottom. And uh, yeah, have a wonder, wonderful day. Say hello to your friends. Keep checking everybody. And don't be lonely. Do something. Take a walk, you know. And yeah, listen to the podcast, by the way. <laughs> uh, thank you.